Hello good folks, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to install my mods. So, you'll need an archiving tool for handling all your zip and jar needs. I'll, I'm recommending 7-zip if you're using Windows, or you can also use WinRAR or any other tool you have installed as long as it's capable of handling zip and jar files. So. This one is free. If you don't have one, I suggest using this. So, you might have stumbled upon my uh, Minecraft forum thread. I recently uploaded some tweaks I made for my own SMP server and client needs, and those are the current uh, releases I've made. That's not all I have done, but. Um, if I'm gonna release the other stuff, it'll receive some polish. But anyway, down here there are some links to the stuff I've made. It's separated into client or single player version and a server version. Um, the big zombies, I only made a server version for now, but as you can read, it's uh, not hard to port, so if anyone's interested, I might do a client version for that one too. Only the transparent fix, um, transparency fix, it's only for a client because um, the server never has to display anything. So it's uh, only for a client. Note if you want to install this one, um, ins even installing it correctly will not do anything on its own. It only enables the terrain .png file um, inside your Minecraft jar file or the um, texture pack you're using to use alpha transparency. So you'll have to edit this file to take advantage of the capability um, given by this mod. So anyway, just download whatever you want. Um, they're not inter independent, uh, interdependent or whatever, just take whatever you want. And um, we'll also need, if you want to mod the client, uh, the server, uh, Windows people usually use the um, executable server, the exe file, um, but that won't work. So if you want to mod the server, you have to get the jar file right here, this one from Minecraft that night. Um, the this one over here, Minecraft server that exit. This won't work because you can't modify that. You can't open this. But this one over here, that's the one you will want to mod. So, um, yeah, let me just put that on my desktop right here. So I have it. So, um, assuming you correctly downloaded the files, um, you can go ahead and mod your Minecraft installation. Simply go to percent app data percent, like that. Hit enter, an explorer window will open. At the top of that window, there is a dot Minecraft directory. You enter this one, and inside the bin directory, there you will find a Minecraft.jar file. And as always, I can't stress that enough, make a backup of this file because um, if you mess up, it won't work or um, whatever happens, you can always go back to your backup copy if it's not what you like, if it's breaking something or whatever happens, um, this one will enable you to revert all the changes you make. So let's open this jar file by clicking Open Archive. A window will appear similar to this one. And first step is to delete the meta-inf folder from that. If you do not do this, uh, Minecraft will refuse to run. So over here I have the um, mod for the mob spawner that will convert the stone uh, the cobble and the stone bricks to the cracked and mossy variants. So just simply 
drag and drop that over here and tell it to replace the existing class. Um, I'll also add the transparency fix while I'm at it. Do the same for that one and you're good. That's all um, for the client for now. You can modify the server in a very similar, very similar version. Um, we'll have the Minecraft server.jar file. Again, make a backup before you modify anything, just uh, in case you never know. So this is uh, the server. Just open it the same way. Open archive. And for the server, do not delete the meta inf directory. For the client, whenever you change something in your jar file, delete the meta inf, but not for the server. If you're modifying the server, just leave it intact and uh, you'll be good. So, um, same thing. Here I have the class for the mob spawner stone conversion, like this. Just copy it in, and the same for the zombie pigmen. Now they won't spawn on anything but netherrack in this server. So, um, and you'll be using this jar to uh, run your server. I won't be running that now, but just that's how you install the stuff. It's pretty easy. It's very quick. Um, base class edit. I'm not using any APIs. So if you have any mod that already modifies those class files you put in there, it will be incompatible. That's just the way it is with base class edits. Let's see about the rest. So that's how you install that. And um, yeah, you should be good.